and that Donald Trump, former president of the United States, has now been indicted uh, in, on four counts in relation to the attempt to overturn our election. Ken? The news alert from Washington tonight. A federal grand jury has indicted former President Donald Trump in connection with the January 6th Capitol riots. So if you haven't heard, our former president, Donald Trump, has been indicted for the third time. So our 45th former president was criminally charged Tuesday with illegally conspiring to overturn his election laws in 2020 to Joe Biden. He's being charged with 78 criminal counts. What do we know about these latest charges? Well, some new details spelled out in this 45 page indictment with it, which was just released to the public a couple of minutes ago. If he gets charged the maximum sentence, he will be spending hundreds of years in prison. We all know Donald Trump is not a young man, so even if he gets no partial time, he could be spending the rest of his life in prison. Of course, he is pleading not guilty to these charges. So some of his charges include conspiracy to defraud the U.S., using dishonesty, fraud, deceit to obstruct the nation, process of collecting, counting, and certifying the results of the presidential election. We all know Donald Trump is not necessarily liked amongst you know, certain groups of people, him being a Republican. Also in the black community, there's a lot of people who are not Trump supporters. I did look up some things during that. his presidential election did really help the black community. During his term, 2017 to 2021, the unemployment rate of African-Americans reached a new low to 5.2%. The black labor force participation reached 63.2% the highest it's been since the 2008 recession. You laid out the case also for why President Trump should get a second term, and you've commended him on his efforts for black Americans when it comes to criminal justice reform, funding for HBCUs, and a strong economy for minorities before the pandemic. But the president goes far beyond that and says that he's done more for African Americans than any president since Lincoln. At one point he said, bar none, that he's done more for African Americans than anyone else. Do you agree with that statement? Well, he certainly has done a lot as, as president, certainly more than a president has in the last 40 or 50 years. Historically, black colleges and universities, executive order, very important to all of us. Also with the Tax Cut and Job Act that was created in 2017, produced nearly 9,000 opportunities and raised $75 billion in capital for communities in its first two years. He has done some things to actually help the black community. Yeah. Most black people, they just feel like he's not for black people, even though he has done things to help the black community. Also, Donald Trump, of course, is well known as a businessman. He's been running businesses for decades. Before he was president-elect, Donald Trump was the king of the Big Apple. My name's Donald Trump, and I'm the largest real estate developer in New York. The Trump Organization currently is a group of 500 entities, and his net worth is around 2.5 Billion. By the late 80s, he says his three casinos were making $15 million a week. This is definitely a man with power and status, connections. So him having the option to maybe try to sway the votes in an election, to me, is something that's not far-fetched. I mean, of course, nobody knows if he's guilty or not, except the people who allegedly might be involved in him trying to construct this plan. Definitely has power, status, money to try to do something like this. When you are a man who is well known, you can be targeted sometimes. I can't believe somebody with a lot of power and status using that basically in their favor to, you know, produce the outcome that they want. You never know in situations like this, you never know if somebody's being falsely accused or if this is the truth and you're getting caught because he is a celebrity. He is a man with power and status. So it, it can go either way. Speaking of celebrities with power and status, Cardi B gave us not so great advice in my opinion about dating and relationships. If you're interested in learning more about that, go ahead, check out this video right here.